Okay. Hey everybody, this is Ed with uh, GI Tactical here in Richmond, Virginia, and as you can see, it's raining. It's raining. Uh, so this is our anniversary sale. We're still having a ton of fun, even though the weather's uh, not cooperating. But I'm here with the one and only Rudy from Bingo Airsoft and cohort. <laughs> so Rudy, thank you guys so much for coming oh, down and braving me. this beautiful yeah, yeah. weather. Um, so what's new with Bingo? Well, mostly is the, the prototype gun that I showed you before, but I have now uh, been able to build an AEG version, though it, it has some kinks that need to be worked out. But this is the AEG version of it. Um, it's a lot bigger and heavier, and you can actually see that it fits a full M249 engine in there. But uh, I'm still working on getting that all dialed in properly. Some of the changes I've made is it now uses a real steel grip instead of an AEG grip. And uh, I was demonstrating this gun all day today. I think folks had a lot of fun shooting this one. It still has the Polar Star Fusion engine in it. Uh, next phase of this is I'll be working on the electronics part of it to give all the program programmability and the fire select and continuing to make refinements on the body and um, 3D printing these things out until I'm ready to actually go to uh, injection molding where it'll be done in the high-end polymer and get, get ready for full production. So I'm going around to things like this and uh, being able to demonstrate and get some good feedback. Um, we'll, we're planning to go to Hold the Gap in October and uh, we're working on trying to bring a whole squad of these out there and see what uh, happens for that. That would be fun. I know you ran that at um, the first BB Wars here, yeah. and yeah. thankfully you were Imperial, and everybody <laughs> yeah. hates you being on the other line, at yeah. uh, the other end of that. Um, I know you've got an L85 here yeah. that's been, uh, that you've got a... Uh... We're talking about some of the other things. I guess I spend a lot of my time doing a lot of custom conversions, and I, I'm trying to phase myself out so I can now do um, gearbox replacement kits and what I, I have here and I guess it's reversed for the video <laughs> are gearbox replacement kits for the um, this is an army L85 just showing that uh, I've got one for a fusion engine and this is with an SMP but I'm slowly making my way through all the different models so you can have these kits that are allow you to drop them into the uh, the gun without having to deal with the, the grease and the gears and all the fire selects and the switches are all integrated into these kits it makes it much much easier so I've got the Army L85, the GL85. I'm almost done with the ICS L85. I'm going to be working on the TAR, uh, the F2000. I've, I have that ready. I'm waiting for the Hydra to get released for the TAR. I've got the P90 done, and I'll be working on the, the PTS Masada. And then I'll keep going on through many of the other guns. So I'll have a whole suite of these gearbox replacement kits where you just literally drop in. Literally drop in instead of having to do with the, um, the cylinder replacement type of things where you have to actually work with the gearboxes. So I uh, think that should make it a lot easier for folks. Instead of having to do custom work, I want to make it so folks can really do it themselves. Something that's reliable, something that's really easy to do and, and inexpensive. Since I'm going to 3D print most of these, it's probably not quite cost effective to injection mold those yet. Um, printed in solid ABS, it actually is certainly durable enough for what the HPA engines do. They don't have the same kick as an AEG, so they're just brackets to hold things, and that's all you really need. Well, thank you so much for coming down. Hopefully we'll see you on June 28th for BB Wars on my side again, and oh. we can rain death and destruction. Oh, I'll have to get that on my calendar. <laughs> I appreciate it. it. It's been fun meeting everybody out here. Thank you so much for coming down. Thank you.